Hi, so in this video, I wanted to talk about the influx of dialogue on, well, YouTube is what I follow about AI and how it's going to be changing our lives and changing everything about our species and the way we live and how there is a lot of fear being generated. And this series that I'm doing on connecting with the heart is specifically answering one of the questions that some of the people have brushed over lightly in the discussion between some of the creators of AI and some of the people that are talking about what are we going to do if AI becomes something we can't manage. So one of the things that they have brought up, and I was watching Lex Fridman's podcast, and this is where most of the discussion is, is what is the purpose of humanity if artificial intelligence actually starts to replace a lot of our work and our everyday tasks and we no longer have to work in the same way and a lot of our jobs become meaningless and in essence even our creative aspect becomes futile if we use chat gpt to construct poetry or love songs and to create all of those things that we normally would create from the heart so we discover there is this big problem in the AI generation of technology in that the role of humans becomes meaningless and useless. So this is where in my work, I've been working all of my life since I was very young to find out what was the purpose of my life because I felt very useless already. Thanks, everyone who helped contribute to that lesson, <laughs> including myself. I obviously had a very uh, suffering mindset growing up. I didn't like myself and I had to work and work and work on my self-value only then to grow up in my midlife to find out that robots will replace me. So what's the purpose of my life? So connecting with heart is actually the whole purpose of this AI feature that has been created by the human species. So I'd like to offer you a contemplation about that. How can you discover your own value now when you're facing this prospect where a large amount of us will feel useless? <laughs> I already grew up with a lot of my family giving me that message. So thanks, everyone. I felt that and I got to explore how do I find value in myself? And in my journey, I discovered a deep, deep love inside myself. And it wasn't me. It was that connection to the universe that's all around us. It's that sense of how you are not alone because you are a special light and a special person that's connected to all life, whether it's human life, whether it's plant life, whether it's life that we don't know about yet, that we haven't discovered yet, we are connected to that life force. And I felt it in the dance. I felt it being very still. I felt it when I was ill in hospital and somebody was kind to me, just for no reason but to be kind or to be human. And that's the purpose of humanity, to discover our kindness. And not only that, but with the rise of AI, we're really needing to start to ask, what is the meaning that I want to give to life? And we have more freedom to do that if AI is used in a way to take away the menial tasks. Until that actually happens on a large scale, it's being used in many other ways, the AI. One thing I will say that I've noticed on YouTube, there is this rapid haste to somehow master the technology but this deep deep fear that it will actually overcome us it certainly has been said by the ai creators that the ai is more intelligent will become more intelligent than the human species so i put to you if those anxieties are coming up it's really an opportunity to really just ask what is the meaning that you are going to give to your life. And I'm not saying that you're special and 
you're going to have significance more than you do. But to really just ask yourself, what meaning do you want your life to have? And that's what I'm going to be exploring in the Connecting with Heart videos that I'm sharing. I'm going to really explore how to feel and sense into the different chakras, which for me are not just energy centers. They're very physical as well, but they resonate through feeling on many, many different layers. In fact, in the dance, I've discovered things that I never would have had thought about because I was feeling into the body. And the body can be a new discovery place for us if menial tasks are covered for us, if we don't have to keep going through the motion of doing meaningless work. And if we discover true fulfillment, that's one thing I'd like to share is how to really rediscover our body and how to feel alive in this body. So if that's something you want to explore, check out the Connecting with the Heart series. It's a seven-part series going through the chakras and you can start to explore that as well. Please contact me also about the intuition course that I'm developing. I'm really looking for people to answer my survey which is what are you looking for if you are looking at developing your intuition? One of the teachings I do is how to develop it more throughout your body system and also how to use your heart to answer things so you get really clear sensory answers when you're using your intuition. Some of you may be different in your intuition as well. You may be clairaudient, clairvoyant, but how do you integrate them all? And there's no right or wrong way. Every human being has their own magical pathway of developing their intuition. So I'd love to hear from you. What are you looking to explore? What would you like to know more about? That will help me in building my course. And you can share and like this video if this was something of value to you. And please comment below.